a big load on his shoulders because you look at California, what's happened. But I don't know if the American people really care. You know, you look at so many of the things that are going on and people don't seem to be... In the old days, if you had a bad record, it meant a lot. Today, if you have a oh, bad yeah. record, it doesn't really mean anything. Flat truckers, flat truckers, we about to get into it today. I got some things for y'all. We got some recaps to do. We gonna go over 2023, and then we gonna tell y'all what's going on in 2024 with the trucking game. But before we get into all that, YouTube, YouTube, what is going on? I'm your host, Runaway Child, and I'm back with another one. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you go ahead, hit that subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed to the channel, Hey, throw a like on this video. A like don't cost you anything to throw in this video. It is for free, so please show your boy some love. But anyhow, what I got for y'all today is a recap of 2023 and all the things that went on in the trucking industry. Man, they almost broke us down to shambles. So make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm going to give you my take on what I think is going on and what's actually going on in the industry. You'll see... I'll lay it out for you, plain as day, and you can get a clear understanding on what you need to be doing come 2024. Trucking companies in the U.S. is shutting down, and that could impact your delivery fees. Trucking company Yellow has a presence here in the Bay Area. ABC 7 News reporter Gloria Rodriguez joining us live in the newsroom with the announcement made overnight. Gloria. Good morning, Kumasi. Yellow Trucking Company has already shut down operations and they're expected to file for bankruptcy as early as today. Digital freight broker Convoy has broken down. The company told employees yesterday that it is shutting down operations because of what they called a massive freight recession. Because they just announced that JB Hunt and BNSF launch service that can move 7 to 11 million loads from over the road to intermodal. They think that brokers are taking advantage of small trucking companies by not providing the transaction documents to these carriers after load is completed. Bill Abudi owns AB Trucking at the Port of Oakland. This typically would be a $30,000 truck. Uh, right now it's worthless. People are offering me $5,000 for it. The California Air Resources Board aims to replace all diesel trucks with zero emission vehicles by the year 2035. But for port truckers, the deadline is much closer. KTV's Tom Vagar live tonight in Oakland with more on the story, Tom. Well, as you can see, it was hit after hit for 2023. I mean, blow after blow was a bloodbath for the trucking industry. I don't understand what is going on, what these people are thinking, what they're doing. I don't understand it. It's like they're trying to take us truckers out of the business. So flat truckers, 2024, I need for y'all to hammer it down. Pay attention to what's going on. I'm going to get into some of the things that I think is going on, and I'm going to let you know. So stay tuned to the end of this video. Now, when you look at what's going on with trucking, this is all by 2024, right? So we're talking two weeks, January 1. This is when things are, start, are going to start to get real. Truckers are caught in the front line of California's EV push. The State Energy Commission has estimated it will need 157,000 more chargers dedicated to medium and heavy duty trucks in the next six years to target. That would be required by building more than 450 every single week. The state needs to install a biblical amount of infrastructure. I mean, you think about this, 1.7 billion for medium and heavy duty truck charging in the next, basically the next two years. Business owners, can take advantage of the state and federal incentives by offset the price of these trucks and charging infrastructure. I mean, these trucks, by the way, they're quoted uh, somewhere in between like the three hundred dollars to four hundred thousand dollar range for a new truck. And when you charge one of these trucks, you're not charging it. You know, like when you fill gas, you're in and out in 15, 20 minutes. You're you're gone. You're down the highway onto the next drop off. When you're charging an electric truck, you might sit there for eight hours, ten hours, twelve hours. You're not getting the same range. So all those costs are gonna be pushed onto the consumer. The trucking company is gonna take on these newfound costs. If they can afford to stay in business, they're gonna push on the cost, right? So structurally, what's gonna happen is a complete overhaul of supply chains. That's what we're walking into. Now, that might sound far-fetched. Yes, John, that does sound far-fetched. But with the things that's been going on and a lot of the things that's been taking place, it seems like these larger companies are monopolizing the game. So my take on it is that 
you're either going to work for a larger company or you're not going to be in the trucking industry at all because these larger companies are going to be the only ones that can afford these electric vehicles, these electric trucks, these automated trucks, and the smaller companies aren't going to be able to even get credit or a line of credit to be able to obtain one of these type trucks. So I do agree with you on a lot of things that was being said. And I just think that with the way the supply chain is going, a lot of these, a lot of these companies are going out of business from the, the companies that we're used to seeing and the companies that we're used to pulling freight for, we're no longer pulling freight for them. And it's like a lot of these CEOs are stepping down. A lot of these guys are selling their shares in the company. A lot of these guys are creating underground bunkers like something is going on. I don't know what's going on, but as you said, it's a complete overhaul. So y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Happy New Year to everybody that's out there, all of my flare truckers. I want to say thank you to the ones that's been subscribing to the channel. And I want to say thank you to the ones who stayed to the end of this video. Hey, be blessed, be careful, be safe, and make sure you bunker down for 2024. I think it's going to get more brutal than it's already gotten, than it already has gotten this year for 2023. So y'all take care. And until next time, run away child. And we are 